that. Our community road show is in Lutz this morning. This community is home to an 11 acre facility dedicated to foster children. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into how a community effort allowed the foster home to remain a safe haven for kids in need. Only a matter of weeks before we have kids living in this house. For three decades, Joshua House has been a safe haven for kids who have been abused, neglected, or abandoned. When these kids get here, they're traumatized, they're hurting, they need some healing. These teenagers are, are feeling a lot of abandonment and frustration because, you know, they just feel given up on. Dee Dee Grundell, the executive director of Friends of Joshua House Foundation, tells me they want to make sure children find a loving home and grow up to be productive members of society. But that was all in jeopardy in March 2020 when the former owners of Joshua House decided to move in another direction. Friends of Joshua House Foundation stepped up to buy the children's home and spent the last year restoring the property. We wanted to make certain that things were safe, the infrastructure was more up to date, and that we were able to provide a really nice welcoming home to these kids. The kids will have new bedrooms, renovated kitchens, and a computer lab. She tells me it would not have been possible if it weren't for the outpouring support from the community. Our community stepped up and said, what do you need? And provided it and addressed a big Amazon wish list and whittled it down and it just kept going and all of this during COVID. The restoration of Joshua House also offers multiple providers under one roof, including therapists. What we're doing is creating a safeguard so that Joshua House can continue for decades and decades to come by making certain we have multiple providers, all with different specific skill sets. She says the goal is to continue to promote growth, stability, and support to Tampa Bay's most vulnerable citizens. In Lutz, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.